welcome everyone. We are going to get started now. Please take your seats in the circle as we listen to Harmonia. This is the winter solstice, Yule. It is the time of the shortest day and the longest night. The Earth Mother sleeps, resting after her labors of the busy growing season that is now long past. She will shortly burst into life again with the return of the sun. This is a liminal space. All of nature is quiet and still. We wait and hope for the return of longer days and warmer weather, as people have done ever since there were people to do so. Come, join our circle, tell stories, feel the warmth, make merry and welcome the return of the sun to our hemisphere. Make plans, form wishes, cast away outmoded habits and watch them burn away in the solstice fire and return to the universe. Take heart, the wheel is turning and a new year awaits, full of promise and possibility. Now is the time to call the directions. So direction callers, please come forward now. Everybody, please rise as you're willing and able and face the east. The spirit of the east, the spirit of the air, spirits of new growth, new beginnings, new inspiration, and new hope. Let your wings uplift us and carry us ever onwards. Blow through our lives with fresh new breezes and the stormy winds of needed changes. Be with us now. Be with, Be with us, us now. now. Spirits of the South, spirits of fire and passion, Fill us with drive, ambition, and purpose. You who represent both creation and destruction, both within and outside our human control, be with us now. Be with be us. With us. Spirits of the West, spirits of water and emotions, you who nourish us at every stage of our lives and inhabit the cosmos as well as the earth. Wash through our dreams and slake our thirst, refreshing and renewing for us. Be with us now. Be be with with us us now. now. Spirits of the North, spirits of the earth, let us feel your reassuring solidity beneath our feet as we continue the journey. Your mountains and forests, deserts and jungles are our precious home. Ground us and shape us. Be with us now. Spirits at the center, who meet and mingle all the elements of our celebration tonight, be with us now. Please be seated.
The ancient rites have been handed down the ages with us in today's modern world. Christmas trees, wreaths, candles, gifts, and feasting all have their origins in ancient pagan times. Even the colors of the holiday season have their pagan origin, origins, origins. The red of the holly berries represents fertility and power of the holly king. The green of the evergreens that grow throughout winter represent renewal and the persistence of life against the harshest conditions. The white of the mistletoe berries represents the feminine principle and also purity. The silver represents the moon and the gold represents the sun. Now we shall all sing Deck the Halls. The words are on the screen.
at the back. Uh, oh, just sit. If you And now, a community dance opportunity, <laughs> just for you. Why dance, you might ask. Why spiral, you might ask. Moving your body in response to music, or even just rhythm, has been central to human experience as long as groups of humans have walked on the earth. The cultural anthropologist Joseph Henrik described by engaging in ritual dance, the dancers use music, movement, in this case, choreography, to foster communities, interdependence, and interconnectedness. Same for us in the here, and we need each other. The spiral dance is supposed to connect us to our galaxy, the Milky Way, which is also a spiral, moving jessel or clockwise. Uh, we build up the energy like tight spring. And then as we turn around and move willishins or anti-clockwise, release the energy back into the unit home with us. Now, I shall ask Harmonia to sing for us and then lead us into the dance while Gordon plays. Please follow the last member of the choir into the dance as you're willing and able, or just this one out if you prefer. Just so you know, just so you know, um, we're gonna start in, come, we're gonna come through here and we're gonna pretty much Go, we're going to sing and we're going to go all the way around probably maybe three times when we when we get when we meet ourselves coming along the way we'll turn around and, uh, and uh, we'll be led back when you come to your place in the circle do take your seat again okay we'll see how this goes this is new okay You're all welcome to sing along. There's going to be a slide with our, our viewers. Okay. 
Our yew tree has its origins in Yggdrasil, the world tree of ancient Norse mythology. Drasil supposedly has roots, one in the underworld, one in the land of giants, Asgard, the land of the gods. 
We also have chosen this image of the world tree as our westward logo. I hope future generations will keep the symbol of life, renewal, and climate mitigation going. It is badly needed these days. Ain't Christian also celebrated the rebirth of the year with the 17th of December. During this time, costumes and take on the owner of their real soliciting alcoholic refreshments along the way. The Newfoundland custom of mummering and the tradition of carol singing or for donations or treats, which still play, takes place in England and some other places, goes back to this old Roman activity. They brought greenery in to decorate their houses, held feasts, gave gifts, joined in boozy song and dance, and ceremonial processions, it's a lot like we do these days. Animals that could not be fed properly over the lean winter months would be slaughtered and the meat not eaten right then be smoked, salted, and put away for use during the rest of the winter. And now we're gonna have a responsive reading called The words for the, re the responses are going to be on the screen. The womb of stars. Okay, so means that I have a kind of a have a throw out um, for can respond. The womb of stars this is us, remnants of their fiery furnaces pulse through our veins. We are the ones of our veins, the cast of the eggs. We are of the earth, we breathe and live of ancient plant, plant beasts. Our fingers trace the curves carved in clay and stone by forebears unknown to us. We are the We gather the new this day to celebrate our common heritage. Those words are by Joy Atkinson. So now we're going to sing again. The, the dark winter are on the screen. If you are not done so already, my wishes, leaf, and maybe curl it up around pencil. Want to stay on some spiritual set intentions. Some you let go of have this that no longer serve them. Boom, tie onto our yule tree. <laughs> Any time at the end of our time together, we will gather them all up for burning in the sacred souls in the world would so now of wind. <clears throat> the 
That was really lovely. I'll just give you another couple of minutes if you would like to, to, to tie your uh, wishes on the tree. And then we're going to have a poem. Yeah.
So now I'd like to invite Carl Ulrich up. He's going to read a poem for us. It's called The Nourishing Dark. This is by uh, River Richard Gilbert. We pause in the holy quiet of the nourishing dark. The days are shorter now. Darkness overtakes light. We miss the sparkling daylight hours, the long days of brightness and activity. We yearn for their swift return and wonder if we can wait or if our patience will at last give out. We forget, however, the nourishing dark at our peril. There is mystery in the dark to be probed. There is the adventure of that which cannot be known, cannot be seen, can only be experienced in the soul. There is deepness in the dark, impenetrable, and inviting. In the darkness, we rest our bodies and our souls. We escape that which distracts and confuses. We come face to face with ourselves. We come into the deep places of our being. Darkness is not mere absence of light. Darkness, darkness is, simply, is not simply an interval between days. Darkness is the softness of things, the blessed quiet of the night. May we not bemoan the dark, but relish it. May we feel its powerful presence and rejoice in its mystical embrace. May we celebrate the deep and nourishing dark. Thank you very much, Carl. Now, at this time, we'd like to encourage everyone to consider a donation to the Neighbor Center, which is our Southside Resource Center for people experiencing homelessness. It is also our recipient for the Comfort Tree offerings. Sharing our resources in this way spreads the joy of the season outside our own immediate circle of influence and helps us recognize that we're all one human family. Please give as you're able. A basket is available at the entrance for cash or check donations. And if you put down your address, we can send you a tax receipt. Alternatively, you may choose to donate through the Westwood website, or you can email to info at westwoodunitarian.ca, but please, by whatever means, direct your offering to the neighbor center. And now we shall have another activity. This is one I've called sharing the light ritual. As we stand in this circle, let us symbolize the return of the light and longer days through a simple passing of the light from one person to their neighbor in the circle. And now is when the, the lights can go down there. So we'll, you should all have picked up a little candle as you, as you have come in. Um, I shall now touch my little tea light to the first person in the circle who then turns on their light before touching their neighbor's light and so on all around the circle until all are lit. So representing the return of the longer days in a symbolic fashion.
Thank you, Gordon. And now we've come to the point where we can extinguish the chalice. So I would call on Sarah McEwen to help me extinguish this central candle as we share these words. As we share, share those tiny sparks of flame. Oh, it was here. <laughs> As we share these tiny sparks of flame, we recognize that they symbolize the return of longer days. Let them also symbolize the spirit of sharing and giving, the clarity of knowledge over ignorance, the victory of truth over falsehood, the triumph of good over evil, and a vision of hope in the darkest of days. And now we shall have a song from Harmonia called Winter Solstice. In the midwinter when the air is chill, on the horizon the sun stands still. After December's full moon so bright, soon it will be the year's longest night. Stars
we are nearing the end of our solstice ritual and I now call on the directions folks to come back and release the directions. And we'll start with center. Yes. Yes, please, please rise as you're willing and able and face the center. <laughs> Forgot that. Spirits of the center that met with us at this current moment to witness our ritual. Stay if you must, go if you will, hail and farewell, blessed be. Please stand and face the west. North? Okay. Spirits of the north that kept us grounded in our world and in our lives, stay if you will, go if you must. Hail and farewell. Blessed be. Spirits of the West that provide the water that all life depends upon. Stay if you will. Go if you must. Hail and farewell. Blessed be. Blessed be. Please turn and face the south. Spirits at the south that brought their fiery passion to our yuletide hearth. Stay if you will, go if you must. Hail and farewell, blessed be. Blessed be. Spirits of the east that have brought both refreshing breezes and inspiration. Stay if you will, go if you must. Hail and farewell, blessed be. Thank you, everyone. Now we will sing a cappella. Um, may the circle be open, and you can stand for this or sit, whichever you prefer. Um, May the circle be open. <laughs> May the circle be open. May the love of the Spirit be ever in your heart. Very Okay, and just before we have Gordon play us out, um, I have a long list of thank yous to uh, go through. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to all of the people who work very hard to bring this special service to you. Uh, our many volunteers are not listed in the order of service because there isn't one. <laughs> if you're a volunteer, thank you so much for stepping up. Thank you to our front of house volunteers 
directions and readers of poems and stories, and to our greeters. Thank you to the choir and to our mighty choir director and Renaissance woman, Rebecca Patterson. Thank you to our musicians, Gordon, Julie, and Terry, who added so much atmosphere to the experience. Thank you. Thank you to all those who've donated and um, food, dropped off cookies, and um, thank you to all the back of house volunteers who stepped up to set up and clean up, and especially thank you to Miguel and others who've prepared wondrous drinks and snacks for our celebration. And to Ivan, who is our fire tender. Thank you to Elaine in the office. Thank you to Brenda Jackson, Bill Lee, and Hannah on tech, and a huge thank you to Lorian, our president, who not only caused the streaming to occur, um, and has kept, but has kept a steady hand on the tiller of Westwood and continues to do so. Not only for tonight, but all year round. If I forgot anyone, please accept my humble apologies. And now over to you. <laughs> Until next year. Until next year. Mm -hmm. We're invited for, for drinks and snacks afterwards. We have things in preparation. I'm waiting for the slide. There we go. There we are. May the sun shine forth upon the things, the rains fall softly on your feet, and until